Welcome to the new college basketball video game. College football has been missing from consoles and so has college basketball for quite a long time. NCAA Basketball 10 was the last time we got a college basketball game along with College Hoops 2K8. Now NCAA 14 football got a facelift in college football revamped. If you haven't heard of it by now, you're probably living under a rock. But it was awesome. They added updates to gameplay, to jerseys, to stadiums, to logos, you name it. The entire game has really had a big facelift. But that leaves a big hole. What about college basketball? Well, a team of guys have teamed up too. Go ahead and add a mod to NCAA Basketball 10 named March Madness Legacy. We finally get a facelift to college basketball. It's been long awaited. Here is the new press start button screen. Looks pretty cool here to start up the game. Now this game is still in its early phases and there are some bugs in it and some logos missing and art missing and things like that. Just like this, when starting a dynasty, you can see that some of the logos are missing, but you can see Florida Gulf Coast. They are thinking about adding them into the game. That would be awesome. It's still in the works though, very, very early in the phase. And they are right now adding conference jerseys and updating those in as, long, as well as stadiums and uh, arenas. And you can just see they still have some work to do. But the good thing is, is that they are working on this. They already have the American Athletic Conference done in this game. It's the Conference USA. So you guys can check that out. I will leave a link in the description for their Discord in a way to download it as well. But here is one of those teams that have gotten the update, which is Wichita State. Now, I am using the updated rosters as well, so you will see those in this game. And I will let this game play out. No commentary, so I want to let you guys enjoy this. Look at the new court with the American Athletic Conference logo. That is very, very awesome. You can just see how great this looks now. The updated jerseys for Wichita. They have the Under Armour on their jersey as well as the patch for the conference. And I'm just going to let this game roll. I hope you guys enjoy this. I will let it roll, and I'll see you next time with the Dynasty. Trying to go inside. Stolen away. And they're in their motion offense, working with three around two here. Well, you know, the key is having two effective post players. They got to read the defense. They got to flash across, utilize horizontal screens, and sometimes vertical screens will work as well. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We got a good one going. The center with the ball. Inside. Tries for two. In and out. Number 10 receives the ball. Trying to feed inside. He tries the fall away. Nails the fade. And they come with a double team to stop it. Makes the shot. He may be in some trouble here. Chandler handles the pass. They work it around the arc. Number 15 picks up the foul. First personal foul. Well, if there is such a thing as a good foul, that was probably it. Sure was, Brad. He fouled him to prevent the easy basket. Well, here we have a look at one of the sophomores for this team. Brad, he's got that first year of experience under his belt. So this season, his team is going to be looking for him a lot more. Converts on that free throw line, and that's major. They might have him in some trouble here, Dick. Great trap, Brad. That trap could spell some trouble. And it's knocked loose. For two, he buries the shot. And now 
Now getting set up in three around two. Look for the three perimeter players to go inside and in space. The post should look for each other. If one is fronted, the other should flash and look for a go high low. About 10 seconds left on the shot clock. shot. Wow, well, used the screen perfectly, but the shot didn't go. This guy's really known as more of a power guy. I'll tell you, power and athleticism are a great combination on the basketball court. The power forward gets the pass. Oh, this man's in trouble. Ten ticks are up. For a minute, I forgot that was a violation. It's been a great team effort for these guys tonight, Nick. I tell you, can really cause the defense fits and throw you off on offense when a team can play strong across all five positions on the floor. Working it around the perimeter. Coach giving some direction as his team gets into the offense. Trying to feed the low block. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. They've got him trapped. A great trap initiated by the defense. Gilbert is seemingly at an emotional low right now. Hey, well, offensively, he's probably not feeling it. Defensively, he's going to step behind. He's going to have to turn things around. There's the trap. Ball stripped. Goes up for two. The shot won't fall. In the lane. The missed shot. About a minute remaining. Wow, the defense is doing a great job of fighting through screens to deny easy looks at the baskets, Brad. Gotta take some pride on the defensive end. For the bucket, gets it to go. for two off the glass and no good they got the offensive rebound and the stick back great pressure great double team really explosive traps in place dick count that as a personal foul So Dick's so important now at the point. The point guard will set things up and the other four will go to work. Well, you know what they're doing is a four around with the first guy on the interior. And they're trying to get that ball to the inside but they're playing with four people on the exterior. At the end of the first half, these teams are all even. Wichita State popped up the ball way too many times in that first half. Day. They certainly did, Brad. I've said it a million times. Turnovers kill momentum. I don't see a lot of these kids taking my advice out there. Before we go any further, let's take a moment here and have a look at our game summary. I've been really impressed with just how hard both teams are playing. These numbers show you how they've been performing. Chandler checks back into the ball game. Yeah, I knew they couldn't leave him out for too long. Looks like they're going to go with a full court man-to-man -man press, Dick. They're working around the perimeter. He tries the jumper. He misses the jumper. Off target. 
McGill getting after it and saves it. On the left side. Puts up the jumper. Nails a sweet jumper. Coach looks on. Focused. A lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. Dennis receives the ball. Cross court. Both teams are looking to get something going here. McGill handles the great shot block right there. Yeah, some good movement on the offensive side. Well, he commits an intentional foul there to prevent the easy basket. Well, it's a smart play, Brad, especially if you can afford to use a burst of foul. I like his mentality. No easy basket. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. Two at the charity strike. He may be in some trouble here. And a momentary look from three-point land. There's a high screen. Good job of stepping out on the screener. He got busted for three. Watch it, not playing. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover day. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Not on the wing. Shoots it. Knocks it down. Here's a double team. They've got him right where they want him, Richard. Pushes it up. About three minutes remaining. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. We approach 10 seconds now on the shot clock. Now looking for the ball screen, Dick. Head hey, two-man game, Brad. So many teams incorporated into their scheme because it works. Double team now, bad angle. He dribbles around the trap. That trap didn't scare him, Brad. Turnaround jumper. Good job defensively. They just won't get many openings. Pressure in the basketball. Two minute mark. The Shockers might be in a little bit of trouble here, Dick. I think it's time to ditch any default strategy in hopes of getting some quick baskets and some easy scores. Brad, it's definitely time to abandon their usual style and start playing an up tempo game. They have no choice at this point. Off the glass and no good. Number 10 handles the feed. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. Brad, he's not getting any help out there. It's basically one against five. Not good odds. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. One minute left to go. Throws up the prayer. I don't think that's the guy they want shooting that shot. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. The center handles the feed.
now it's just a matter, Dick, isn't it a clock management here? And the clock stopped with a foul. And continue to foul to stop the clock. And the clock stopped with a foul. A little too much hustle for that last foul. He played a good game, though. Foul, and that stops the clock again. Chance for an easy one. He makes the front end of the one and one. They have one of the toughest things to get in sports, experience. Experience is so important, Brad. See situations and knowing how to react to them correctly and quickly is a great, great thing. A basket here will make this a two-possession game. Time out on the floor. Aaron Andrews, what do you got for us, EA? Shit. On the outside. He shoots from the deep corner. And he's no good from downtown. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. I tell you, what an opportunity he's got right here. Because to me, this is a gift. Second shot. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. He launches the bomb. They're punishing the rim with those misses from three-point lane. Yeah, Brad. No one seems to have found the touch. While we've got a second, let's take a look at two individuals selected, Dick, as our players of the game. They were both great to watch all game long. Their coaches and teammates have to be happy what they've done out there today. Still hot like Phoenix. Shine so bright, I'm gleaming. This off top, I'm tweaking. Fresh out the rat like me. And I'm still trying to fight my demons. Cause we all gotta act like Tino. That's why I gotta ride with the Nino. Outside, it's a war going on.